How's that for light? Good morning, sunshines. When I'm saying this, there is no sunshine today. It is, let me turn off the notification. It is not Sunday. Today is Wednesday. And it is actually, no, it's Tuesday. And today is a holiday. I forget which one. I'm so sorry. I will insert it here below. But there are many, many bead greniers happening. In fact, we are going to one just after Saint Gaudin. Um, it's in a village called Jordan Polignan. <laughs> I am so sorry. I will make a better attempt at learning the French villages, I promise. Um, so we're going to go there. There's expected to be 100 to 200 vendors. So that's going to be exciting, or sellers, I should say. But I'm sure there will be some professional people as well. Um, so as you guessed it, today's look du jour, which I'm kind of excited about. I just bought these jeans from Galleries uh, Lafayette in Tarbes. They're from Pepe Jeans. They're a wide leg fit, which, um, you know what, for years, I think a decade or so, I was into skinny jean. I mean, who wasn't, you know, you were, the skinny jean was in and the kind of the wider relaxed shape was kind of out. Or I think they've always been in style. It was just, you know, I think it was dependent on age, but these are a high-waisted, so they do a good job at tucking everything in. They're a cream color, and I'm really happy that I bought those. I also found these Jonac of Paris sandals. Not bad, right? Pretty comfortable. This is the first time I'm wearing them, so better not say, I mean, they're comfortable now, but let's see how they do while I'm walking. There is not any support, but I think I'll be okay. Normally I do have my toenails done, but uh, well, I can do that in the car if Justin's driving. This tank top that I bought from Uniqlo, which is nice, um, nice root to tank top, and one of Justin's old jean throwovers, because as you can see, it is another cloudy day, which is fine. It did rain all evening um, and most of the morning. The begonias are doing well dangling over so i'll probably bring another pair of shoes just in case and instead instead of my lucky weed rainy bag i thought i'd try this little one only because it it matches the uh look du jour so yeah this is the weed grenier outfit of the day and let's go More pottery? Yep. Okay. Uh, leave it up to Justin to find the Diguan, of course. No, You're no, always I'm on. Like a, what are those uh, pigs that look for truffles? I'm like that with the Diguan stuff. <laughs> Just goes on and on. This is one of the biggest ones we've been to, I think. Got the little dog in tow. It's not as in good condition as the one that I had. Twenty euros. Oh, honey, big mixing bowl right there. I really need gray. Oh, look at the little shoes. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's another big, big one. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Put your pot. Looks like it's in pretty decent shape. It's a 13. Mm. Yeah, it's all really cool. Justin likes the blue plates. Not quite old enough. I like that sign. It's a green one. Hey Justin, I really like that sign. <laughs> the what? The sign. Uh, yeah. The water waterway. My wife remember this. This guy with the dog is kind of interesting. You put it back to the room. I kind of like this one. Oh. 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 I don't think it's original though. No. It's really yeah, broken. No. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. He wanted 30 euro for the dog, which is a little mm. really um oh look at these big pots. Too bad they're brown. <laughs> Sorry guys. Oh I oh this one is great. Oh I like this one. a Remy pot so typically they're a lot like this but now we found that so that's good these are a lot of interesting things that bird um i mean we never have a bird but what is this basket right here this one right here no 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 this one Oh, it's for catching. No, no, no. Maybe for catching something at the bottom. I don't know. For little eggies. Ah, for the casual fun, it's forty. 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 Ah, oui. Ah, ah, oui. Pour, oui. <rire> pour les bêtes. Ça, c'était pour les mots. Pas pour le bulldog français. Non, pas pour le bulldog. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's see this 
is made from Hong Kong. Yeah, Hong Kong. Oh, you found your little... Looking for your company for Mr. Peak. Yeah. Look at that view right there. Hello. Oh, I'm so done with those. Look at the balls. 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 Look I don't think I have the size yet. Ready? It's so big. They have a restaurant open. And then you can find food. Huh? I think. You know, I'm looking for door handles for our bathroom. This would fit. It's small. Oh, these are cute. Looks a little modern. Oh, no. That's pretty. Let me see. I'll see it for you. That's gorgeous. You like that? Yeah. If you like it, that'd be for your office. We have yet to show your gallery wall. Can you see it? Yeah. Fluffy. Yeah, it is. Outdoors. Oh, I'm gonna give that a break for a while. Can't wait to go to the snack bar. <laughs> That's why I don't like coming so early. It's because I miss out on the snack bar. Guys, I can't find any more gray pots. They're so rare. We'll get over there. Keep on trucking. Oh, those have become really discolored over time. Avec la ceinture, c'était très joli. 
Ah, it's from the 50s. It's funny. Oh, you brought... Ah, Justin. Hey, guys, this is the uh, seller that Justin bought the candlesticks for. Which ones? The one with the swans, with the peacocks? This is just as big as the one that we were at. I'd rather follow you around because you look handsome today. No more pottery, Justin. <laughs> down there. Ah, ben voilà. Après, il y a Caroline. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. Mm. That's, that's really heavy. This is it right here. Sink. 
45 euros. Look at this cute little duck. They want 45 euros for that. That's exactly what I was looking for. There you go, Johnny Walker. That's a collectible. Nick. Oh, it's this guy again. This is this is the guy that had the. Yeah, the other one was nicer. Justin. I think I have my mind on food. That picture, that gold picture. It's heavy. It's the tag set. It's from Germany. Maybe. Swiss. <laughs> German, right? German. Where? Oh, back. Oh no, I don't want to go back. Silver butter dish. Justin. Guys, we found you a gray pot. What do you mean found you? I think this is for me. Just oh wait, no. I promised I promised people that we we're gonna start finding gray ones for people because oh. we've been taking them all. Okay. <laughs> Still a desperate search of food. We bought wind chimes from him once. Do you remember? Some beautiful tools.
that's where we went water dipping. Sure. Just waiting on Mr. Juicy. <laughs> Sound. Are you yeah. going to hide behind the pitchfork? <laughs> we're, we're pulling up on our favorite sides of the table. I get the All left, right. I am left handed, and Justin is right handed. So when we sit out here, I usually have to eat on this side because I use my left hand, continental way of eating, whereas Justin eats with his. I'm ambidextrous. I eat with both hands at the same time. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another haul video. As you can see, I think there is another theme that we have today. What's the theme? Pottery. And I think uh. that's because of this, this handsome fellow. He is just really scoping out all the best pottery bits that he can find. I love it. I love it. You found this. I promised you guys I was going to help you find gray ones. We are no longer going to hoard them for ourselves. We are now looking for gray ones to offer to you, right? Yeah. No, the reason I uh, became a pottery fiend is because mm -hmm. like eight months ago when you discovered pottery, I guess your joy of it became my joy of it. And uh, it's one of those things that I can see. Aww. So, uh, yeah, we found a lot today. Mm -hmm. Do you want to start talking about what your favorite thing is and why? Oh, I love the favorite things. Okay. So guys, I have a really, well, it's not a substantial size collection of alabaster, but it's getting there. I think I might have 16 or so urns in alabaster. They range from alabaster pedestal, alabaster urns, alabaster containers with lids, and I have found another one, but I'm not keeping this one for myself. I think they're just so cute. Like I want to start sharing them. Oh, well, that's a good so idea. So this is my favorite because there's just something beautiful. You call them a Medici, which I think is an Italian. But do you know what the French equivalent is? Uh, I think it's called Medici. <laughs> yeah. It's from the Italian Renaissance Medici family. So they also were in with the French too back in the Dizzle. Okay. This, this is my favorite. And this, the lady tried to tell me was marble. But when I hold it up, I feel like it might be alabaster really oh. aged alabaster, possibly onyx, but it's not as heavy as onyx. Oh. It's lighter. I thought weight. it was marble when I looked at it. Yeah. But the uh, it's kind of thin. Yeah. Yeah. It's thinner, right? Yeah. It feels like alabaster to me. So oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. So uh, what was your favorite then? The Medici? The Medici. Okay. The Medici, but I mean, obviously that. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to go with this uh, silver plated wine decanter mm -hmm. holder. Uh, I know it wasn't at the top of your list, but uh, it I saw like it. It a high heel from Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I did think it was a shoe when I first saw it and then I got closer <laughs> and saw it, but uh, it's great. You undo the thing on this aspect so you can go ahead and slip the bottle in and then you tighten it back up. And I guess it aids you in pouring it and then you could just leave it there on the table. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. And then describe it to you. Remember she was explaining like what you can, she, she held up a wood, uh, a oh, slab uh, of wood. So this is really funny. Um, they tried to upsell me on um, basically wooden planks that you would go ahead and put your serviette on and you could go ahead and set the table that way. I know you have a previous video where you did sort of a table setting. Mm -hmm. Well, they were using thin wood planks. Uh -huh. And my point to them was that we've got a lot of wood on the property. Oh yeah, that's right. And I'm gonna go Just ahead and make it. my own. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's really funny, cause you didn't know this, but um, 
I didn't have exact change. Mm -hmm. I had over. Mm -hmm. And um, when I went to pay them, he wanted to give me the difference, not in money, mm -hmm. but in those sliced wooden things. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we kind of negotiated the fact that I would take actual real money for my change <laughs> instead of the wood slabs that I'm going to make later on today. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, this is silver. Yes. And I wish I borrowed. Um, oh, it's a tain. Oh, I see that now. Guys, I have a few things that I'm selling from this brand. It's from the Atelier in Paris. They've been around since the late 1800s. And every decade or so, they come up with another mark. See, I'm seeing it now in the light. Mm. It's town. What they, they specialized in pewter. Pewter. Pewter pieces. Mm. Well, this is definitely a silver plated because it's stamped as silver plated. So, yeah. You see silver plated on there? Yeah. We'll have to look this one up, but they primarily consist of 98% pewter, but it's still... That's a pretty unique. exact percentage on the it, on the pewter, 98%, I've, huh? I've, wow. I've researched it because we Sounds like my four. favorite old uh, Sacramento radio station, 98.5. Oh, 98.5, pewter. Okay. <laughs> That'd be a good one. Yep. So that's and, my favorite thing that we got today. Okay. Justin, you know, I am zoning in on all the shiny bits and he just sweeps in and it might be in the video he sweeps in and he finds this great pot and she was almost set on her price you know i mean they are a little on the expensive side yeah they are more expensive and um we we negotiated a fair price so yeah. i was happy with it she she acknowledged that they were rare she's like you know this color is harder to find so that's why it's more than the brown ones that she was selling justin drove another hard bargain he negotiated yeah, but the interesting thing for me was that she referred to it as blonde. So being a, a blonde one instead of the brown. Yeah. So I guess that's what they refer to it as. So okay. that's what I'll start using it. Yeah, because she's French, so she would know. So it's yeah. blonde and not gris. On our first V. Grenier haunt, um, which I introduced in the video, I didn't realize we were going to go to three. We went to the first one, which is just outside of Mont Rougeau, and I found this pot. There, there's a difference between what they were conserving, what types of fats from what animals. I'd like to know specifically. So if you know, or if I end up researching this later, I will insert it below and let you know why the handles differ. This is also marked. It has that, I think it's, it says red me, and it has a number six on it. There's a slight, slight chip within the inside. But again, it's just a cosmetic blemish. I mean, for its age, it's in really, really good condition. And I'm just really excited that we can start offering these to you. Again, these are really heavy in weight, guys. So whatever you see reflected on our shipping is true to the item that needs to be packed up. So, um, yeah, thanks for going through the shipping stuff. I guess uh, the other thing that I'm really excited about because um, they're part of a matching set is these beautiful um, Seragreen. Sorry, I forgot the name of the brand, but uh, they're beautiful. Uh, they're the way that they're crafted are just amazing, and um, we should actually just do a video on these guys themselves because they're just so beautiful. Uh, the roundedness of it and just the fact that they're marked on there is it's, it's gorgeous. So I'm pretty happy about those. BP, did you know that each of these plates go for around 40 euros? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I do know that. Okay. Um, the other item that's uh, really interesting is, uh, can you tell us about the pitchfork and how you've been wanting to find a pitchfork? <laughs> I, have a, I have a little background story. We had just moved into this home and well, it had been two months later. I think it was sometime in February. We wanted to go and do some winter hiking in a place called Pont Espagne, which is basically the bridge of Spain. It does border Spain, but we stopped at a village named Cotterets. It's a ski town, right? I remember doing that. Mm -hmm. my, my point is on our way, to hiking in Ponte Espan, we stopped off at a restaurant and across from this restaurant was like a slew of oh, yes. tourist shops. And this guy had like several of these pitchforks in this really light, unfinished color. And I said, I wanted one. I was hell bent on, oh, that's funny. I was hell bent on getting one of these pitchforks. And Justin was like, 
They're not going to pay 40 euros for a pitchfork. What are we, we going to do with that? I just want it for decoration. Well, today at our third bead grenier, again, this guy who like finds all the best deals comes swooping in. He's like, Jenny, 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 look, look, look. They old, so there's signs of uh, insects, in insect holes. Yeah. This is going to live in our kitchen. Yeah. And uh, I was stopped at the Vide Grenier by a couple of older gentlemen in their 80s talking about how their grandfathers used to use this to to do the hay. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. This is authentically old. It's not a reproduction. And I love that. I love that. Great. All right. Let's put you right here. Yeah. And for those of you for those of you that have ordered Diguan before, we have found you more Diguan cups. And not only that, Justin, I've never seen these before in my yeah. life, are these two little, it says three slash zero Diguan cups in there. I think for like pinching salt or whatever it is, they are absolutely adorable. The only thing is, Justin, is that that, that blemish inside. I know it's natural. Yeah. But Sometimes they have blemishes. I mean, that's just pretty normal. So it means it's handmade, right? Yeah. And so it's not there, a big deal. There is some imperfections, and again, I like what you said about the imperfections. It's part of its charm. Yeah, definitely. Okay. okay. So uh, I'm pretty stoked about yeah, that. Yeah, you did. You found. Well, I found this. Okay. You found the uh, Louis yeah. Vuitton wine holder. This one. You found, um, actually, these were from two different Grenier's today. You found those, yeah. At the end. No, no, you found two today. Yeah. You found two today, mm. and I found the rest. You found these. I am really into these mustard pots now. I mean, I always been, but it's harder to find the gray ones, like I said. So I'm finally able to offer. I have two more uh, that I have not shown you. So those will go on the Etsy account soon. Oh, no, our friends forgot their... I was going to say, oh. I didn't remember getting that. Yeah, so. no, it's our friends. I found this gray little pot. There's just something oh, about it that I just cute. liked. Yeah, it's cute. I can't make out the... I can't make it out from who it's from, but... Mm, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. And then and... you got another portrait. Oh, this is... Actually, I just sold the little miniature one. It's the exact same girl. It's from the exact same company called Helka. And it's that, actually, this is the one with her holding her cat. It's mm -hmm. a laminated portrait. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Porcelain uh, portrait, Por I believe. Porcelain yeah. portrait. So this is absolutely old. Um, this one says it was made in France by hand. And Arrato. So they even have the name of it. So it came from ah, Carcassonne. Carcassonne. Mm -hmm. And if you guys have ever visited France or are planning to, and if you want to see like a, well, it's kind of touristy, but it's a medieval village perched on top of the hill. It's pretty cool. It's, fun. it's interesting because it's touristy, but it's actually not that touristy. So you actually feel like this is people are living in the medieval village and it's amazing. So they have some touristy things there, but it's yeah. actually enough of a real village that it doesn't seem like a Disneyland kind of version. Oh. That's what I like about it. I'm going to have to disagree. Maybe we need to read We're going to have to agree to disagree on your disagreement. Agree event. to disagree. Got yeah. it. Um, I had, Justin, I'm having a problem with medallions. I can't get enough of them. I don't know what it is. I just think that if our Christmas tree or one's Christmas tree should have a bunch of antique medallions. Oh, and that's I found a great another idea. horse. We have horse stables that unfortunately we're not going to have horses for, but we have this. This is actually made in England or it's etched in England, but I don't care. It's absolutely beautiful. They're great. You tie a beautiful ribbon on there. Mm. I think a lot of these were actually, well, this one might be a bottle opener, but um, some of them, uh, are used as medallions for first place, second place, third places for shows. A lot of the other ones that you've collected, I know that they're used for prizes. Hold on, another demonstration time. Ta -da! Okay. Maestro. Okay. Let's see if it truly is a bottle opener. Um, okay, well, I guess you proved the theory that it's not a bottle opener. <laughs> But it can work as a bottle opener. People use lighters or keys to open up their bottles. Yeah, okay. Well, well now good we're gonna one. have to drink that. Yeah, open it up. I'm, I'm parched. Mm. Uh, let's 
great demonstration video. Well, we're... Do you want to demonstrate with the real bottle opener now? <laughs> we'll put that aside. Okay. Um, so this is like an art deco, beautiful, just, uh, you, you did, you said something really well about the lily pads and how would you describe this? A daisy? Yeah, it's some sort of open flower that you can use as a soap dish, a coin dish, a key dish, yeah. a dish for storing uh, or for putting uh, beautiful bonbons on some candy. Uh, it could be millions of different things. Yeah. Flower petals on top of a flower petal. I really like that. I'm, I'm really into the, the shinier things. So what are these? Spoons. I think these are spoons from Africa. I thought they were chopsticks at first, but well, let's pack up for the day. We should probably make dinner. It's yeah. only, uh, I told everybody that is not Sunday, but didn't it feel like a Sunday today? It felt like a Sunday. The sun never really came out. <laughs> everybody was around, but it's a, it's a holiday. I think it's Ascension. Yeah. So um, thank you uh, for everyone for having that holiday today. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We are we were very fortunate because Laffy got to come with us, and I know he had a good time too. Yeah. And uh, it was really cool. Yeah. It was a really good day. So you really do enjoy our little hunts, don't you? Our little hunts. Uh, yeah. Well, it's always fun uh, finding something um, that we both like, and mm -hmm. uh, I really like interacting with a lot of the, the folks that are there too. We're starting to learn some of the – are starting to know some of the people that actually uh, are broke hunters and that's always fun. Meaning that we are noticing the regulars and the sellers that regularly visit the many villages to sell their wares. Yeah, but I'm building relationships with them too, which is a lot of fun. So we joke around a lot and yeah. it's good. But what, is there anything that you regret? No. <laughs> Very good. See you guys later. Yeah, I'm really glad you brought up that story because I completely forgot about it. And you know me, I'm usually pretty tight with the old Argent. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oops. <laughs> um, that's probably going to go on a blooper reel. You want to put that back up? Or are you good? Anyway, um, going back to the point.